This is absolutely crazy. We have lived here now eight months, something like that. And we had no idea this place was here. Unbelievably, no idea. We have a wakeboard Elo Elo Deca wakeboard Elo Elo. You can see the rates here. Regular rates is two hours. It's only 300 pesos. Um, that seems like a long time considering they're also offering a four hour and then a whole day. There's your hours, by the way. And this is the location here. You can see that they have a couple jumps and everything. And I don't know, some kind of cable system that pulls you all the way around. Uh, they've got a kitchen here where they do serve. Uh, meals here too so we're gonna probably have some lunch while we're here i don't know what that building is but i guess we'll figure that out later it looks like a, a building with uh maybe some crs uh but yeah take a look at this look at this place <laughs> how did i know this was about two miles from our house not far at all it's technically in pavia so uh not quite ilo ilo but it is right on the border all right, I'm pretty excited. We got Jimmy over here who brought us. He was the same guy, came with us to Honeywai, and uh, he is visiting after being of many years from the Philippines, from California. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hello. <laughs> this place is so cool. Is this your buddy? And Joe Boy, right there. Joe Boy? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello, Joe Boy. Hi. Nice to meet you. How long has this been here? maybe a year a year now, a year now. wow yeah. you know we're just discovering this we moved here december one no idea this was here <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. but this we looks so out. cool I, awesome. i'm excited so this is their third location it was recently opened one year ago the other one was opened in 2009 in davao and then in 2012 they opened one in clark and clark is obviously doing the best out of all of them it is such a booming area especially with the big water parks the zoos everything that's going on there uh, so this location is brand new most people don't even know about this i think you will all enjoy this episode instead of having a boat pull you around they actually have a much better system where it doesn't cost a lot of money and that is this cable system here that pulls you around i believe he said at 30 kilometers per hour which is the standard for wakeboarding all right they do have koi fish in here as well oh you got camera shy all of a sudden i know huh? and the water is a little cloudier than normal because they just had uh, a ton of rain here in Iloilo from this, uh, right. not typhoon, I think they actually named it, so maybe it is a typhoon now. Wow. Oh, here they all come. <laughs> they think it's time for feeding, so they're all running over. <laughs> Alright, Jimmy, you excited or what? I am very excited. Yeah. For First you, time for me. What? Yeah. So you won't be doing the backflips? <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Alright, good, good. So this is the equipment room. As you can see, there's quite a bit here. You feel like a snowboarder, I gotta tell you, Looking, just looking at it. It's just like snowboarding, but on water. This board is owned uh, by our local rider here. Mm -hmm. These gears. So these uh, are the members? Yeah. All right. This one is for uh, rental. Okay. This one, um, this is the beginner wakeboard for beginners. Mm -hmm. Okay. And helmet. And this one is, uh, we call it knee board. Okay, knee okay. Board. So a little bit uh, real beginner stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so you can see here that the, the, the members have some pretty cool boards here uh, with the built-in shoes and everything. Really cool. So there you go. They have about 30 members. They all come here on Sunday and uh, they all go out and just have a blast. So you can imagine if you get addicted to this, uh, yeah, you can be become part of their membership group and go out every week. And then afterwards, I'm sure they all just drink beer and have a good time. All right, we got some chicken and rice going on here. It's uh, chicken NSL, looks like to me, so it looks delicious. Uh, before we head out there, because it, they are on lunch break also, so we knew one o'clock is when they start again. Maybe, maybe. It is a weekday, by the way, during the day. So this isn't busy time by any search of Asian, so there's nobody out there. Uh, we're hoping maybe one of the local riders that know how to do flips and everything will show up and we can show it to you guys. But anyway, for now, we're going to eat. All right, we're gonna get it equipped up finally. We're all good to go. There we go. I don't know how many times I'm gonna fall. Guess we'll find out. It's been a long time. I used to water ski, but that was a very, very long time ago. There we go. Okay. 
go. Mm. Somebody had a big belly. <laughs> wow, somebody had a real big belly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at all the strap I got now. All right, we got our boards. I got like a slick little orange one here. He's got an easy up because, you know, he's got to get up easy. Yep. All geared up. Art. Art. You can never be expert. So this is Art. Art has been doing this for 15 years. So he might have a little bit on us. Yep. Yeah, just a bit, just a bit. I'm not sure if he years. I have injuries, surgeries, uh, like, you know, so maybe... Off and on. Yeah, so maybe riding like nine or something. Other time you're like healing or doing something. Wow. Sometimes you're working your That's how we just sold it to you. Between my injuries and surgeries. <laughs> So now are you ready to go? <sighs> ready for those injuries and surgeries? Exactly. I just, flip. Yeah, yeah. Well, th I think it's because he does all the really crazy stuff, right? So uh, I don't think it's just because he went around in a circle. Once we get started, please don't remove our vest and helmet. That's number one rule. And every time we go through obstacle, please let go of the handle. If you think you're going to hit our obstacle, any obstacle, you have to let go of the handle. Let go of the handle. Same, if there is a other rider fall in front of you, please let go the handle. Um. And then swim to the side, don't stay long under the cable. Gotcha. Okay? Swim to the side and find our stairs there. Then go back here, reset, then go. Go again. All right, so first off, they get you all ready. They explain that you want to stay as crouched as possible in order to do this. Uh, I believe they call it the Asian squat. Bianca can do it way better than me. I'm too tall. I can't possibly do it, but you get really low, it'll give you that center of gravity. And there he goes! Oh, let go! I think you gotta swim for that first. That's why you want to let go right away, because you'll be close to your board. Saves you on energy. Oh! See, that's how you do it. <laughs> wow. How was it, Michael? Your well, first attempt? I didn't get very far at all. <laughs> you know, when you water ski, you can get down in the water, right? and then they can start to let out. Right? So it's a much more gradual process. Yeah. This? Get up and go. Intense. <laughs> right away. But I think you just get ahead of hand of it. Yeah. All right. We got an expert now. He's been doing this for a very long time. You notice something about his board? Is his shoes aren't attached? It's just a board. Yeah, like a skateboard. So this is going to be pretty darn cool. See, one-handed. Yeah, you can tell he's been doing it a long time. That's incredible. It is not attached to his feet at all. He's got it. Oh, so close. Nice! A little better. Whoa! Don't pull. Pull now. You need that back. Yes! Okay, I'm totally out of shape here, obviously. That was... Whew, you know the swimming back and then it's kind of slippery and then find the staircase and walk your way back that kind of thing makes you say you know what i can't fall next time i can't i absolutely have to keep going uh but yeah it takes a little bit more than it was like water skiing and stuff like that but to watch the one expert out there incredible well you guys up next no Come on now, it's not a spectator's but you gotta come and try it out. 
They'll probably beat us. We're not doing very good on it, but you know. <sighs> but yeah, you see, things get a little bit busier here later in the day uh, as people get off work and that kind of thing. So come in the afternoon if you want a lot of people. If you want to come and just try to learn by yourself, come early. Well, brother, that was a heck of a lot better. Really? Yeah, well, obviously, look how far you went, right? <laughs> not even halfway. <laughs> yeah, but much better than last time. That's so good. double. Yep. Instead of thinking half uh, empty, you got to think half full. Half full. That's Clearly, good. looking at him, you feel like you're nowhere. Yeah, right. But, yeah, he's but uh, he's really assume good. he wasn't here, we'd be like, oh, look at us, we're almost there. Exactly. But it's exhausting, eh? Doing it the swimming. Exhausting. Yeah. A lot of work. Yeah, you want to stay on it, so it's not a lot of work. Yep. But then when you get good at it, I noticed that he was able to grab one yep. and they can slow it down a bit and then he just go, takes off from, from yep. zero. He so have to come back no, he didn't have to do any swimming. Point, yeah. So when you get good at it, you don't have to do all that swimming, guys. <laughs> nice. Extend your arms. Extend your arms. Extend your arms. <laughs> Michael, you did better. Yeah, we're getting time. better. We're getting better. I made it around the corner. Right. And then, but uh, yeah, it's, 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 it gets a lot of tension than none if you pull. So right. I keep running into the situation where I fall back down and come back up. Yep. I gotta get to a point where, like he is, he's very relaxed and he's not pulling on. I know. He's pulling him. Right. Yeah. So I mentally get there. <laughs> good try, good try. There's Michael. The water went up my nose on that one. <laughs> I ring it in one of my ears. <laughs> good try though. I overthink a lot on that one though. Yeah. I'm trying to think of everything. It's the pulling, it, and you want to pull. It's like it's a natural thing, and you got to break that out of you. Don't want to pull. It's a lot of hard work, though. But pretty cool. They do have kneeboarding, by the way. If you want an easier trip around, just do the kneeboard thing. I want to bring Bianca here because she has a low center of gravity and I have a feeling she'd do really well on this. Wow, our muscles are sore. Uh, we got to work those out more, that's for sure. That was pretty incredible. They do have monthly memberships here, by the way, and uh, they have packages where you can buy unlimited ride days, like 10 unlimited ride days, that kind of thing. Um, so different pricing. I think the membership to join, and then you come anytime, whenever you want, is 6,000 pesos per month. Uh, so 120 bucks uh, US uh, per month. Um, or like you can just come for your two hours, you know, whenever you have time, it's 300 pesos each time. Uh, all right, so we are going to be heading out. Bianca's got her dance class soon, but this has been fantastic. You had a good time? Yes, awesome. Well, neither of us conquered it, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, so good. you got to try. You got to keep trying, keep try, trying. try, try. We probably should have went to the knee boards. That's my bad. Practice makes perfect. Right? Yeah, but we we did uh, we did okay considering it was our first time. Yep. This was a lot of fun though. Great time to be out in the hot sun and you can just be getting wet. So it's not a bad deal yep. at all. Really cool. Didn't even know the city had it. Yep. Awesome. Beautiful spot. Thanks guys for joining us and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.